Ah, uh, gaming moments. We all have had them in our lives. They define who we are and what we like. The moments we will remember forever. Hey, I'm Gamer Greg. This is my top 10 greatest moments in gaming. In my life. Number 10. Ah, uh, Christmas Day. Nothing like getting up in the morning, running down those stairs, and seeing the one thing you wanted all year. That thing was a Sega Genesis. Seeing Sonic and hearing that music for the first time is something I will remember forever. And then Super Nintendo came out and I never got it because my parents said I already had a console. Great. Number 9. Back when arcades were the shiznit, I'd waste my entire allowance on Mortal Kombat 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. It was a glorious age for the sprites back then. Before I got this. My first console fighter I ever played, and it was exactly like how I remember the arcade. I cannot tell you how many obscenities were shouted, how many Genesis controllers were thrown, and how many friendships lost. Oh, Street Fighter 2, you will be remembered always. Perfect. Number 8. At one point, everyone had that neighbor, cousin, uncle, grandma that had that one console or game you didn't. And you knew going up to their house meant that you'd be going on an adventure of epic proportions. For me, that adventure was Mega Man 2. My aunt had Nintendo, and every time I go over there for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or a birthday, I'd glue myself to that screen and try to beat it, which I never did. Stupid password dots. And my mom would always yell at me to come upstairs and socialize. Damn it, mom! I was saving the world from a giant evil robot invasion! God! Number 7. Let's be quick about it, right? Does anything really need to be said here? I mean, it's a game where you pick you up hookers and f*** them. Enough said. Well, not me, now. Ah. Number 6. Alright, I have to get something off my chest. I actually never owned a Nintendo, or Super Nintendo. I grew up on the Sega Genesis, and that kinda sucked. Not having two of the most iconic systems was horrible. Not saying that owning a Genesis was bad, but when you have more memories of playing Mario Kart at your friend's house, than any of the 30 plus games I had for my Sega Genesis? And let's face it, Super Nintendo was just more popular. Number 5 I was at my cousin's house, and she was showing me off her brand new Sony PlayStation. And one of the first games I played on it was Final Fantasy 7. I stayed up 24 hours playing it straight because I had no memory card. And after that week, I worked my ass off, saved up all my money, and purchased a Sony PlayStation with Final Fantasy 7. And people say kids who play video games are lazy. Number four. This is one of those memories that, although recent, you really don't want to remember. I was so excited when the second Dragon Age came out, I could hardly contain myself. Being a huge fan of the first, I knew the second one was going to be bigger, better, and just all around more amazing. And then I got home and played it. Everything that made the first game great was gone. Sure, the combat system was redone. That still doesn't change the fact that the main questline was so boring. I refused to finish it. I really did. I sold the game on eBay eight weeks later for a whopping $20. Number three. One of my first jobs was at KFC, and it was for one reason only, for a Nintendo 64, the future of gaming. I remember missing out on Nintendo and Super Nintendo, and I'd be damned if I was gonna miss out on Mario 64, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Star Fox 64. This is one of the best investments of my young gaming life. Number 2 Shortly after buying a PS2, I went to my local video store to see what games were out. An interesting game caught my eye. It had blue metallic paper, and some cool looking anime characters with crazy hair, with Disney characters. I spent $49.99 and bought it. Took it home and was blown away. I enjoyed every second of that game, and it seared itself into my memories forever. I even made a fan film about it many years later. Okay, before I go to number 1, let's recap. Number 10, my first Sega Master System. Number 9, Losing Friends. Number 8, Mega Man in My Aunt's House. Number 7, Hookers. Number 6, Being an Outcast in the Gaming World. Number 5, Final Fantasy 7. Number 4, Stupid Dragon Age 2. Number 3, My First N64. And number 2, Discovering Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2. Number 1. I've played a lot of games in my life, 
and some have made me feel frustrated, some sad, some happy, and some make me feel like I've wasted my entire childhood liking. But only one has made me stand up with my heart racing so fast, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. The Mass Effect 2 ending. I've never in my life screamed at a game during a cutscene. Never. I found myself standing up, jumping, yelling at my TV for Shepard to make that long jump. I've never been so impressed and felt so much emotion tie me to a game before Mass Effect 2.